Hi babes, what's up? If you don't know, my name is Lachey Tree L. If you are a returning visitor, welcome back, hunty. Yes, I am doing an updated video showing you the importance of doubling your tracks, hunty, with a open presser foot, also known as a zipper presser foot. So let's get started, babes. Tracks with this open presser foot. I am using a 90 a 9014 um universal needle um that is an open presser foot also known as a zipper presser foot i am using a zigzag stitch i am using a brother machine there is the corner i don't believe they sell this model type anymore however you can find one very very similar to this one on amazon for like 89 dollars or um walmart for like 89 dollars again that is the number four stitch i will be using to double the knots and the number four is right there you can see the zigzag stitch so if you are interested in watching this video, please give it a thumbs up before you get started, babes. Yes, so I can make you more, 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 more. I will be updating all of my old videos, okay? All right, because I have new ways and new tricks of doing things, as you can see, hunty. Yes. All right. Okay, babes. Let's go. What's up, babes? Welcome back to Double Tracks Part 2, hunty. Yes, this will be the updated version. So the last one that you saw me do it, you saw me do that with the number J presser foot. I'll um, take that off and let you guys see what I'm talking about. If I can get it off, okay? All right, so. And excuse my fingers. I was just doing bleach until I said, keep your gloves on. You see that? You see that? See that? Okay. So this is the regular presser foot this is the regular presser foot that i'm using i'm going to be using this one this is called a zipper presser foot it is a open presser foot it will allow you to keep the tracks in between this space that's right here that way hunty it's a lot easier for you to um control them and maintain that double that double look if I can lift this up, get that up in there. All right, so this you do have to slide directly into there. Bam, pop that in there, okay? All right, so, so let's turn that just a little bit. I want to give you guys a better angle that I have it on. Let's turn this because I'm trying to get this, um, have as much light on here as possible, okay? All right, so unravel the hair make sure you are combing through the hair as you unravel it like i said excuse my hands i'm not ashy i was just bleaching some stuff i took my gloves off towards the end and i should not have done that but i am okay i do not have any chemical burns i did um already treat my hands so they won't start burning me further well at all <laughs> all right so you want to start off your double tracks here Make sure that this is even. If they are uneven at the ends, make them even. Because sometimes these bundles are not always even at the ends. They do that because it's easier for them to bundle them up together. To do it that way. All right, so again, like I said, start at that end. Okay, all right. That closed end. Do not start at the open end, guys gonna turn on your sewing machine you are going to go to if you have my machine or if you have the one similar to it go to the zigzag this is the zigzag one so we're gonna go to number four one two three four I'm keeping this on a 1.4 and we're gonna go up to a 7.0 because I need it as wide as possible this is length this is width I need it as wide as possible 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 to capture the tracks so like I said let's do this now some of my hair you guys you can see some of my hair sticking in there I'm not feeling that okay so let's go let's put this in here I'm not starting at the actual um corner because it can be very very tricky to start there i like to start a little bit past there about an inch or two past that behind there and then back stitch that and then come back forward because you don't have to really do it 
a lot. Okay. And let me get my parcel foot. And let's go. Now we're gonna go back. See how easy that is, guys. Now, doing this process, you don't have to hold it. You do not have to hold your um your tracks in no type of funny looking way. Cramping up your hands and everything. I mean, because they can't be too much. Like, for real, for real. All right, so let's go. Okay, that's too thick right there. I'm going to move that down some. Tension down a little bit. See that? Now all you have to do is glide this through here. The way you do that is just hold it on one end back here, hold it here. And you can glide that through there. Allow the machine to do its work. See how that's coming together, babes? See that? Like I said, again, my hands look like this because I was just bleaching the closure, okay? If you want to know how I bleach knots, watch my previous video for my updated bleaching knots tutorial. Now, babes, always double check your work. Make sure that the back is as neat as the front. problem now let me fix it I don't know why I was doing that if it proceeds I'll fix it baby let's finish this off and babes oh i don't know why i didn't tell you guys this in the beginning go slow please i'm going fast for demonstration purposes only make sure you are going slow i'll show you the speed i want you to go go this speed so go that speed when you're first starting off because that way you you will be able to see what you're doing i'm um, like i said i'm only going fast because i've been doubling tracks for years at this point so go a slower speed that way you can control it better even with this wide this open presser foot it's controlling a lot better however i mean you know don't go fast you're not a pro just yet i would love to see when you guys are a pro um if you have any pictures for any wigs that you've ever made after watching my videos please send them to me i would love to post them so that i can show so that i can show everybody that you know yeah i see yes this is what they learned so show everybody my students <laughs> Right, babe so we are at the end allow that to finish out on its own you don't have to hold it 
all right so babes now that i'm all done this is how it's supposed to look really really nice and seamless you cannot tell that both of the tracks are doubled um everything is nice and neat on both sides yes So, babes, let me know what you thought of the video. I would love to see you guys return. I love seeing you guys. Like, you guys make me so happy. Anywho, hunty, yes. Yeah, so, now you see the importance of doubling your tracks. Doubling your tracks allows you to up the density of your wig. You don't have to worry about singular tracks. And you don't have to worry about working so hard to construct that wig. Doubling the tracks allows you to put in, uh, the maximum amount of um hair into your wig without taking up too much space on that cap as you know if you take up too much space on that cap the cap won't will lose its elasticity it won't be able to stretch and um you could potentially change the entire size of the cap um when you are putting too much hair on today and we don't want that we want our wigs to fit how we need them to fit for ourselves and our clients hunty yo okay hunty all right so yes like i said thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys bye bye see you in the next video if you didn't see my other um new videos that are coming up please view them comment down below um up under those let me know what you thought of those i do have the new boss talk and girl talk coming that's not stopping hunty yes okay we're gonna get into a whole whole lot of new territory yes hunty